Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough and further taking my time to get the next crystal star I decided to go back to this side here because I noticed that I forgot something that starts back over here remember this boat panel oh yeah secrets ahoy by the way you can't slip through here despite how it looks there's one of those dang invisible walls in your way, but then again, I maybe it's a good thing that it's there, otherwise I'd just drop right off the ends of the earth. <laughs> anyway, going through here kind of looks weird, looking at Rogue Port from this angle, because, you know, you're used to looking at it from the upper floor at the whole time, like the surface floor, what am I saying upper floor for? It's outside, ground level, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, dock here, and open this treasure chest, you'll be very pleased with what's inside here. It's a double dip badge which allows you to use two items in one turn if you have it equipped. Very, very handy. All right, and without further ado, let's talk to people. <laughs> All I ever think about is how the train cuts through the wind as it races across plains, like a torpedo on Earth, slicing through the relentless winds. Doesn't it just fire you up inside? Heck yeah! I don't have the money yet. My dream is to one day ride this train. Maybe you will just Ask Don Pianta for a favor. <laughs> uh, there's this lady here. Ah, there must be so many heartfelt reunions on this very spot. Ah, just deep, man. I love the thought of it. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Alright, let's go on the train now. This train is known for luxurious, partially heights. Will you be boarding today? Yes. Wonderful. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. Flash that ticket. Watch your step, please. All aboard! And thus, we go in to the next chapter, which should be really relaxing, and he says, All aboard! Again, for some reason. <laughs> ah, nice relaxing train ride. It'll be a break from the action. Be a nice vacation. What could possibly go wrong on a train ride? Pretty cool song here, by the way. And here we are, starting the next chapter! Three Days of Excess! Let's start! From our room! Yay! Oh yeah, the Excess Express! This is so deluxe, man! The three days the Poshly Heights are gonna be over like that! Hmm? Huh? Hey, you see that? Something on the floor. Uh, when did that get there? Hmm. Maybe someone dropped it? Maybe we dropped it? Don't go to Poshly Heights. Get off the train now. Or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Uh-oh. This is the Glitz Pit all over again, except what the heck kind of letter is that, anyway? Like, what kind of threat is that? <laughs> Whoa, what a freaky threat. You don't think this could be Beldum's work, do you? I don't know, it doesn't sound like what she would say. Whoever this psycho is, you gotta figure they're on this train, right? We gotta get this nut before anything bad goes down on this train. Absolutely. Alright, so here we are. Starting by going to his drawer, you'll find a dried shroom that someone probably left and... Yeah, it's in there. <laughs> oh, I, I'm full. And my stats are full. Bye bye, dried shroom. <laughs> uh, look over here. In the room, I think this is supposed to be in place of a lamp. Maybe that lamp is broken. It's a shine sprite! Which could very well be used to light the room. Alright, so I don't need that dried shroom in the slightest. Uh, I need to go to the le uh, left or the right. I'm going to start by going to the right at yeah, room four here. So, here we are. Uh Thought there was something in here, a star piece. <laughs> oh yes, there is stuff to collect on board the train, so be on the lookout for yeah, nothing in drawers. <laughs> yeah, check the drawers and stuff like that. You might find some goodies along the way. Room three. Oh, it's Elvis. Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting the ride on this train, and now I finally got a ticket. Dreams do come true. You're here for the food, aren't you? 
There are several gourmet food magazines here, and one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Access Express. I knew it! <laughs> There's a large photo of Chef Shimmy on the cover. Who is he? His smile is just blinding. Hmm. Alright, let's keep going. Into the next car. Let's see what's in room number two. Hey, look who it is from the Glitz Pit. Why, hello there, you ducky. There's an dish of a man, you, you serious smashing deer. What's this? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. <laughs> uh, giant mounds of cosmetics inside. <laughs> yeah, definitely check the drawers. They're entertaining in on themselves. Like, what the passengers took on themselves. Hey, who are you? Hey, guy. Yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star Zip Toad. Never heard of you. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. Oh, and uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that guy. Oh, I didn't know you anyway. Uh, there are several postcards and glossies featuring zip tone inside, so those are his autograph cards in his drawer, basically. Uh, further up here, this is the door of the Miyapi. Open while the train is in motion, so it's basically the outside of the train. That won't open for... Uh, a while, obviously, because we're on the move here. Save block there. Uh, where is... Uh, oh, right there, right there. Boop. Star... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's the engineer. Greetings! Welcome to the Excess Express. I'm what is called the train engineer. Our opulent journey will <clears throat> to Apostoli Heights will take approximately three days. And how do you find your accommodations? Are they not incredibly splendid? They are, indeed. Our furnishings delight the eye, but the sway of our locomotive delights all else. So let's all hear it for the Excess Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! Huzzah, indeed. Now let's go over to the other side of the train and start exploring it. I really wish I could open doors while I'm on top of the Yoster. It would, it would be a lot more convenient than having to get off him and then get back on him after you open a door. Uh, anyway, this chapter, as you might be able to guess, is less about the battles as it is about the story, the, the characters, the exploration, stuff like that. It's a rather interesting chapter overall, and it's a good good break from the action, actually. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome! This is the dining car where you eat your... Well, you're eating stuff, Star. Some people take this train just so they can eat our yummily fabulous food. I certainly know of one who did. <laughs> In this trip, we have a super famous actor on board. Zip Toad! Oh my gosh, Star! Oh, wow, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here Hit to eat soon, Star Star! <laughs> I'm sure he will. I mean, he's gonna have to eventually. Everyone has to eat eventually. And poop, too. <laughs> Hello, I'm Chef Shimmy, the culinary expert. Glad to make your complaint. Uh, uh, I mean, acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap Cheap is my first language, you know. <laughs> Today's lunch is so amazing, it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Alas, we cannot eat right now, though. It's not lunchtime. Oh, so sad. So very, very sad. If you forgot to get stuff before your trip here, don't worry, there's a shop with all the essentials, including a wonderful Thunder Rage. Uh, Alright, let's talk to the Toad here. Since I've got some stuff I should probably store, how goes it, Traveler? Welcome to the sales stall. We have lots of souvenirs. I'm here to store four more items. Wow, I've really gotta, gotta start using some of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. Um, I, I'm just thinking of what I used and what I didn't use before. I guess I'll put another spike pouch in there. And... You know, I don't think there's that much that I need to pick up in this train anyway, so... I think two open slots will be fine, then I'll use the uh, items a little bit later on. Anyway, moving on to the back of the car here. Number six. Hmm... 
There are several detective no novels here. Youth, I thought you looked suspiciously like a detective. <laughs> I am on my way back home. I have strayed so long. I have forgotten what it looks like. That's all you have to say? Really? Well, maybe you'll have more to say later. Alright, moving on. Number seven. Who's in here? Oh. Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive at Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything goes on the expense account. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see what's in here. There's nothing in here. Oh, I guess he spent everything. <laughs> mm, car 8. Look who it is! More people from Glitzville. Oh, you're the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the great Gonzalez. Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. <laughs> we are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Ah, my, my, my. What the heck? Why would you end off your sentence with that? What? Okay. Yeah, I'm Bob, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool! Aren't you just... aren't you jealous? Well, hmm... No, I've got so many items, I just got a star piece from your drawer. <laughs> I I'm pretty pleased with just grabbing that star piece out of your drawer. You'll never know, or never care that it's missing in the slightest. You and welcome to the Excess Express. I am the conductor of this train, and I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. Okay, I will. What's that? Some sort of a sticky, yummy threat? I, I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I'll let you know immediately. Alright. So anyway, let's go back over to the dining hall, because there is going to be something a teensy bit different going on here now. At least there should be. Yep. Look at that. All the people we've met so far. What What's going on here? I thought I was going to have a nice lunch on my ex expense account. Rats. This is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. I'm dying for a taco guy. Couldn't you just whip up some grub real quick? <laughs> what? They took the whole pot? Really? The whole deal? This isn't in my contract. Oh no, and Zip Toad is here, and everything. No, my life is totally ruined, Star. No, my heart cries out in the salty pain of misery. That was my master beast. I, I mean, my, my masterpiece. And now it is gone, and I am left with tears of horror in my eyes. Hmm. Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. <gasps> Jinkies! Zorinks! Oh, it looks like we have a mystery on our hands, gang. <laughs> what shall we call it? That, that is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Indeed, that will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. <gasps> oh, Raggy! <laughs> a mystery you just said, and, uh, um, er, exactly. What kind of dish is that? <laughs> I known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. Oh, come on! That... Yeah, I'll forget it. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Oh! <laughs> the central clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all, and this esteemed friends leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman! <gasps> Totally cuckoo! I have, like, no idea what you're talking about! <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. Please accept my apologies, my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills. You understand. Yes, sorry. <laughs> Look at this, <laughs> she's ticked. <clears throat> Very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this straight. 
So what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And uh, I guess that's about it, right? <laughs> oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys, I'm going back to my room. Uh, hmm. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zipto, the actor! Zipto, the Zipto? No! I'm such a big fan! No way, Mr. Detective Person! You're just making stuff up! You. you Tweety Geezer! Tweety Geezer. Geezer! I can't say I deserve such a verbal flat thrashing, but. Well, then. Um, who did do it? Hmm. Hmm. This puzzle deepens with every confounding step. You haven't really done much, in all honesty. <laughs> You're just making false accusations everywhere. You, my whiskered friend, have been hovering rather suspiciously, haven't you? I find that rather suspect. Highly suspect, indeed. What? People, I have apprehended the rogue. Yes, I have broken the case wide open. He has been sulking around this area the whole time, under our very noses. The pot of supper stew that vanished suddenly and myst mysteriously bandit is you! <laughs> you are not the bandit, you say? Hmm. Indeed, you would say that. Well, if you are not, in fact, a crook, then perhaps you could prove your innocence by searching for the real perpetrator. Then we will know that it is not you. Fair? Well, I... I I guess, but how did I get roped into this? <laughs> well, I've got nothing else to do on this three-day trip anyway. My stew, I must have it back. It is a del delicate truffle and anchovy bowl of lace. You believe me, right? Because it's no way it's zip -toe. No way! Hey, thanks, babe. Tee-hee! Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da! How do I know you're not the criminal? Don't come near me. Well, okay. Are you the criminal shop owner? Oh, I thought you might have something to say at this moment in time. I never checked that before, but I guess not. Shop owner. Totally innocent. But I have a sneaking suspicion. It might be someone we have already met. Hmm. Looks like all the people in the back cars are now at the dining hall. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Except them. <gasps> Could you be it? Oh, you're the ch No new dialogue. Actually, it's none of these people. I'm just seeing if there's new dialogue in the back here. I know who the culprit is. This is the luggage car. I'm sorry, but I can't let passengers in here, sir. Fine, fine. Be that way. But if I need clothes... And I don't have clothes... And I need to change... I'm just gonna take off my clothes and I'm gonna be naked. <laughs> Wait a second. What is this? What is this? On the floor. A clue! There are traces of something on the carpeting. Whoa, this looks like spilled stew on the carpet. Nasty, I almost stepped in it. It's that bad of stew, huh? <laughs> we can just follow the trail of the thief, don't you think? And you know what? It might even be the nuts who made the sticky, yummy threat. What makes me say that? If you steal, you probably do other bad stuff, right? Mm, yeah, I suppose. If you don't really have any regard for people. <laughs> Hmm. Well, the trail goes past this room. I'm gonna check this room. Anyway, oh no, it's our room. No one's hiding in here. <laughs> so anyway, moving on, moving on. Clearly, the stew goes on further. Nothing new. I'm just taking a look here. Uh oh, the trail looks like it ends here. Hmm. Elvis, did you steal a pot of stew? Whoa, 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 what do you want? <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now, what were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen, and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. <laughs> what? Drops a stew on the floor outside? No, 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 I wouldn't know anything about that. N no, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Okay. Wait a second. There's something in the drawer, isn't there? There are several gourmet food magazines here. 
And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the Excess Express. Shepherdini's smile is just blinding. Exclamation point! There's something under the magazines! <gasps> Galley pot! An empty stew pot! <laughs> it looks like it was licked clean. Oh! I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me. What do you have to say for yourself? So, you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more. And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots. Answer! Yes. Yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakest. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. <laughs> my keen, soothing instincts identified you as the correct person to call out the ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six, so that we may discuss this in pirate private. Alrighty. Oh, and please return to the pot the shelf, if you could. Oh, Alright, that's on my way there anyway. Sorry for causing all the commotion. Oh man, that soup was scrum diddly umptious. <laughs> I can't wait for dinner. You regret nothing, don't you? Nothing! <laughs> Alright. See you later, Elvis. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Yes, I will return that pot later, don't worry. <laughs>